Harry everybody, it's Geordie Paul here, formerly known as, or the artist formerly known as Rolfie's Real Ramblings. I've changed the group's name for the third time from Rolfie's Reviews to Rolfie's Real Ramblings to Geordie Paul, and Paul may as well use my name. Uh, so if you can't find me, or you're wondering why, who, who's this new person I've subscribed to? Well, it's me. You've seen me before, you know what the crack is. Um, so, new video, it is Tuesday afternoon. Um, I've got the day off work because I'm working on Saturday so I get a day and Lou off during the week which is today so with this video I'm going to go through shelf number two and a new arrival which happened to come in the post today all right so stick around uh, and let's see uh, what you think and you can comment on them Hello again, Jordy Paul back here for another video. So here we go. So I'm going to go through shelf number two, de, uh, and then show you what I've got here. Again, they're not in alphabetical order. They were not anymore. And I'll go through my new collections. Uh, and actually, what the film I'm watching at the moment. I started last night, then the kids were all kicking up a fuss, so I didn't get to finish it. So hopefully, I'll finish that this evening. So uh, in the post today, I had this originally, and then I actually sold it. So I got it again on eBay for $9.99, which is the Nightmare on Elm Street collection, which is one through five. Uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and then Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So there are say, seven films in all, $9.99. It's not too bad, I suppose. So yeah, so that's what I've got in the minute. It comes with purely just the um, credits on the back. And in the inside, all we've got is quite simply, there's two on there, two on there, and then that one's a special features. So there are, one, two, three, four, five discs in total. It's four of the films, and one is for the special features. So, yep, so that's my new arrival. And with regards to the movie that I'm watching at the moment, uh, it's an old one. Well, I'll say old one. 2009 it is. It is this one. Benicio Del Toro and Emily Blunt with Hugo Weaving in The Wolfman, the reimagining of the 1920s, 30s Universal film. Um... It's not the best, I'll be honest with you, but with The Invisible Man being out and Tom Cruise's Mediocre The Mummy, I thought I'd give that another watch. So yeah, so that's what's arrived. That's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm watching, and that's what's arrived today. So, now there, we're out, out and done and over with. Let's crack on with shelf number two. Way we're there. Right, so, we've done the intro, we've done the uh, credits, we've done what's arrived and what I'm watching and now we're going to go through what I own. So we have two large piles here. It's four in here but I'll, you know what I mean. So underrated and one of the best zombie flicks of all time. Train to Busan. Korean. Set on the train obviously. Um, sequel coming out next year or the year after. Probably the year after with regards to Covid but hopefully it'll be next year. Train to Busan. If you haven't seen it I highly recommend it. If you don't like subtitles well you're stuffed but it's quality. Uh, another one, Wolf of Wall Street with the HMV limited edition cover, cracking film. Uh, this one I have not seen in a long, long time. Um, obviously from the guy that trained spotting, Danny Boyle. Um, got a young Chris Evans, yep. Now I've got War for the Planet of the Apes here. This is the 3D version, which should go with War, Dawn, and Rise. Two 3D and one just normal. So we've got those. And then we'll go through these ones. These aren't for everybody. I love it, I love a bit of gore, and you can't beat this. So we've got Saw, Saw 2, Saw 3, Saw 4, Saw 5, 6, I don't know why I keep looking at them. And of course, Saw 3D, the final chapter with the lenticular sleeve. So that's the sort the saw films I've got there. Now I don't own Jigsaw, but I do have the digital code for Jigsaw, so I am able to watch it because it's on my Google Play, as you saw in my previous videos. I've got all there. So next one, another guilty pleasure, Laura Biden Citizens with Gerald Butler and Jimmy Fox. Very underrated and good film. And then we have the trilogy of the Fallen Trilogy. So Olympus, 
London and Angel. So the first one's always the best, as they always are. Um, but yeah, good trilogy to have. Glad I got them. And then we go to, which I like to call my Boom Shakalaka uh, M. Night Shyamalan films. So we have... Now, not many people like this, but I do, and I don't know why. Um, the Happening. The Visit. And then we have a box set, which is Signs, Six Sense and Unbreakable. Now, Signs is my all-time favourite M. Shyamalan one. Uh, purely because of the alien thing. Uh, I remember going to the cinema to see it. And that bit when there's a Mexican party and the alien walks past and everyone goes, Boof! great, great film. Uh, and then following those up, we have Split with a nice sleeve and glass, which never came with one. So that's my M. Shyamalan one. Click on there. Uh, what we got next in? So, um, Kingdom of Heaven, Ridley Scott epic. Again, it's one of those films that I own, I like, but I haven't seen in a long time. What more do you need to say about Taxi Driver other than it's brilliant and it, it's one of the major inspirations behind the current uh, Joker. Brilliant. Uh, we have in a slim case the Pirates of the Caribbean initial trilogy with the thinnest of thin Blu-rays which is there and then we can follow that up with both On Stranger Tides 3D and Salazar's Revenge with a slip 3D. We have the Mission Impossible Blu-ray box set, which is one through one to the four, and then follow that up, we have Rogue Nation. Now, uh, the other one, um, Ghost, not Ghost Protocol, is it Ghost? No, it's not Ghost Protocol. It is called, what, the newest one, I forgot the name of it, Fallout, um, is 4K, so I don't have that on Blu-ray. Uh, an all-time classic with Denzel, Man on Fire, if you haven't seen this. It's one of those films like Training Day that you need to see. Uh, we have Kick-Ass 1 and 2. Uh, a film I've been wanting to see. Uh, haven't got around to watching it yet, but I do like Steve Carell. I do like kind of autobiography, autobiopic films. Uh, so it's Road to Marvin. That was a cheap 3 dollars in HMV sale when it was open. Two pounder, Flatliners. I've still never seen this, and it's an absolute classic, but I've never watched it yet, so I need to watch that soon. What we've we got here? Gone Girl. Probably the last film I ever went to see. No, it wasn't. Second to last film I ever went to see at the cinema with my wife. This and The Girl on the Train. This one comes with a booklet, as well as the actual disc, and it comes in a paper one, it's not hard uh, plastic. Uh, then we have Indiana Jones box set. I think I got that when it first came out. Uh, Jurassic Park 3D uh, Glory which I got off uh, a member of the big poly group sent to me obviously a patron but he sent it to me because he found it in the pound shop uh, and then we have Godzilla 3D with a lenticular sleeve and finally we have Tom Cruise with The Last Samurai another personal favourite of mine um, it's a slow burner, but it's really good when it when it builds to the end. So I definitely recommend that if you haven't seen it. And I'm getting hidden here. So that is the end of all my uh, shelf number. All the end of that is shelf number two, all done and dusted. So that's it. That's deliveries, what I'm watching, and shelf number two of my collection. I've also had a little message off Sam to say that he's received uh, his gifts. So that's great. Remember, people are on 66 subscribers now. Get to 100 and it's another gift. I still haven't decided what's going to be. I'm probably aiming towards either a box set or a 4K for you lovely people out there. Uh, so yeah, so spread the word. Um, give us a shout out, get somebody on there. You know, ongoing. Uh, I'd also like to add on the end that it's been great actually being in touch on Facebook Messenger with Jamie. Um, thanks, fella. Yeah, it's really been really nice. Uh, been a nice community. Uh, and that's it really so um thanks very much again for watching hope you enjoyed it and if you like it um, subscribe and if you don't like it don't but that's it um if you like it you like it if you don't you don't it's up to you um and that's about it really um so yeah i look forward to seeing you on the next video and thanks again for watching rolfie or geordie paul now out